Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Thank you all so much for clicking on this video and as you guys can see today I'm headed into CVS and I am super excited to start these deals because we have the beauty event going on right now from May 22nd to June 4th where we're going to get an extra 10% back on all our beauty purchases with a maximum of $20. So let's try to get as much beauty as we can. I'm doing is going to be on the any Sally Hansen cosmetics either buy two get four or buy three get seven I'm gonna be doing the buy three get seven and for these kind of deals you have to do either or you can't buy two and then buy one later if you buy two you'll only get the four and yeah so make sure you know what you want to do I'm gonna be doing the th buy three get seven I'm gonna pick up three of the Sally Hansen Heart is nail treatments at $3.99. Three of them will equal me $11.97. For these, I have three of these 50 cent off coupons from our 43 Smart Source. Then I also have this $3 off Sally Hansen CRT plus this $3 off a of three nail polish, nail care, hair care CRT. That's a total of six, seven dollars and fifty cents coming off of my eleven dollar and ninety-seven cent total. So with all my coupons, I'll be left paying four dollars for forty-seven cents at the register for all three of these, but I'll get the seven dollar extra buck back for buying three, making all three of these free and a two dollar and fifty-three cent money maker. Okay, before I go over more deals, I want to share some clearance finds. Uh, another couponer here earlier in the morning um, told me that these were seventy-five percent off. Well, she told me it was like five dollars one of these were five dollars so we're gonna check all the prices I found all of that um they do have quite a bit left of these items i think i'm gonna try to wait till it goes to 90 percent off because 75 just isn't good enough for me especially when it's at cvs because cvs is super expensive to begin with so yeah hopefully they go there's still some here if and when they go to 90 percent off but yeah the next time is going to be on the biotin dry mouse oil rinse this one is not tagged but i did check online and these are also buy one get one 50 percent off they are i'm gonna pick up one of them at 5.99 i'm actually gonna pick up four of them that is gonna equal me 17.97 for these i'm gonna use four of these two dollar and fifty cent off coupons from our five one save insert these are expired but the cvs usually doesn't mind taking expired coupons and then i also have this dollar fifty off any bio team digital manufacturing coupon plus this $2 off a 12 mouse wash CRT so I have a total of $13.50 in coupons so in store for four of these I'll be left to paying just $4 for 47 cents but then on Ibotta we have this $1.50 rebate with a limit of five so I'll get that four times so I'll get six dollars back on there making my final cost for four of these bio teens completely free and a dollar 53 money maker next i'm do the buy two any nyx professional makeup get a six dollar extra buck the items that i'm gonna pick up are two of these lip liners that are in this section i would pick them up from here but when i open this some of them say 549 and then some of them say 419 and i don't want to look through all of them but all of these down here do say 419 uh, so i'm just gonna go with these that are with the lipsticks Two of them are gonna equal me eight dollars with thirty-eight cents. We actually got this three dollar off NYX makeup instant coupon for this week. That will leave me to paying five dollars with thirty-eight cents at the register. But I'll get the five no six dollar extra buck back for buying two of these, making both of these free and about a sixty cent money maker. Now I'm gonna be doing the buy two any Neutrogena cosmetics, get a six dollar extra buck. The two items I'm gonna pick up are two of these makeup remover towelettes at seven ninety nine. That is gonna equal me fifteen ninety eight. I'm gonna use two of these three dollar off of one manufacturing coupons from coupons.com. And then for these, I have this $3 off Neutrogena Makeup Removers 
CRT. So that's going to take up a total of $9. I'll be left paying $6.98 at the register for both of these. But then I'll get the $6 extra buck back, making that just $0.98 cents for the both of them. But then on Ibotta, we have this $0.75 cent rebate with a limit of five so we'll get that twice so a dollar fifty making our final final cost for both of these completely free and like a 50 cent money maker so not a big money maker but we have that beauty event going on so i'm trying to do as many beauty deals as i can but i don't want to pay too much out of pocket so that's my my Next, thing i'm doing the buy two any cover girl cosmetics get a six dollar extra buck the first i'm gonna pick up is the cover girl um, hydrating cream cleanser at $13.99. For that, I have this $6 off CoverGirl skincare CRT. Then I'm gonna pick up one of these CoverGirl eyebrow pencils at $6.49. And for this, we have this $4 off of one digital manufacturing coupon. And then we all should have got this CoverGirl $4 off CoverGirl instant coupon this week. So, my total for both of these products will be $20.48, but after my C all my coupons, I'll be left paying just $6.48 at the register, but I'll get the $6 extra buck back for buying two of them, making that just $0.48 cents for both of them, but on the coupons.com app, we have this $4 rebate for the CoverGirl cleanser thing, so we're going to submit for that, making our final cost for both of those products completely free and like a three dollar and fifty cent money maker the next so i'm gonna do is on the garnier facial items i'm gonna pick up one of these garnier green labs serum creams at 21.49 for this i have two of these five dollar off of green lab serum cream crts and this four dollar off of one digital manufacturing coupon here's the second one then i'm gonna pick up this kind of ears connect to my cellar foaming cleanser at 9.79 i'm gonna use this three dollar for one coupon that i just found at the store and then i also have this three dollar off going here my cellar crt and then I also have two of these 40% off Garnier Facial Care CRTs that I'm going to use towards both of these products. My total for both of these products will be $31.28. So after all my coupons, I should be left paying just $4.06 for the both of these, but I'll get the $5 extra buck back, making my final cost completely free and a $0.94 cent money maker. Um, because I have these 2% off coupons, I won't be rolling over any extra bucks, so I'll be paying that 406 plus tax out of pocket. Because if I roll extra bucks, it's gonna adjust down my percent off coupons and stuff, so make sure you don't use any extra bucks when you use percent off coupons, because then you're not gonna get the full value of those CRTs. The next one I'm doing is gonna be on the Buy Select Colgate Optic White Toothpaste, get a $5 extra buck. It's on these more expensive ones that are $14.79. Um, they don't have any here, but they have a little end cap that has a whole bunch of them, so I got it from there. But it's $14.79. For this, we have, or I have, a $3 off the 12 Colgate CRT. And then we all should have got this $5 off of one Colgate um, toothpaste digital manufacturing coupon. So it's going to take $8 off of here. But what I also have on this account is a 40% off one item CRT. With that, I should be left paying like, okay, so I should be left paying just $4.07 out of pocket. Again, I won't be rolling over any extra bucks since it's, that is a percent off coupon. I want the most that I can get out of it. So that is gonna, so I'll pay the $4.07, I'll get the $5 extra buck back, making this toothpaste completely free and like a 90 95 cent money maker, something like that, 93 or something. A small money maker, but this is a super expensive toothpaste, so I'm gonna go ahead and take I'm it. gonna pick up two of these whole blends. They are not on like an extra buck promotion, but they are on sale two for eight dollars. For these, I'm gonna use this four dollar off a of two manufacturing coupon from this week's, I think this week's save insert. And then we also have this three dollar off a of two digital that I'm hoping will glitch and come off. If it does, I'll be left paying a dollar for the both of them or just 50 cents each, which is a pretty good deal but i'm gonna pair this in with another deal that's given extra bucks back so i can use a 4 of 18 hair care crt so the other hair care deal i'm gonna do is on the trust me they are two for ten dollars and then buy two get a two dollar extra buck i'm gonna pick up these treatment ones they're also part of the deal um so i'm gonna use this three dollar for two manufacturing coupon this is from last month's unilever i'm hoping they'll still scan it's a little dirty i don't know why 
but I'm hoping I'll scan. Um, and then we have this 5 of 2 digital manufacturing coupon that, again, I'm hoping will glitch and come off. If it does, I will pay just $2, but I'll get $2 back, making those completely free. But like I said, I'm going to pair it in with my whole blends. With the whole blends, I'll be at $18, but after my coupons... I will be at $3, but then I'm going to use this 4 off of 18 hair care CRT. It should adjust down to just a dollar or to $3, making those complete. I'll pay nothing, but I'll get the $2 extra buck back, making all those completely free and a. Oh, yeah, $2 moneymaker. <laughs> receipt for the gun here in Colgate um so the only coupon that I didn't I didn't realize it didn't come off till I was looking at my receipt afterwards it was for the four dollar gun here um it might have been the three dollar one like attached to the um item so that's why the four dollar one didn't come off but I'm starting to contact customer service because it it should have came off I mean yeah um but my subtotal came out to 1106 I did use a $10 fetch gift card and I had a total savings of $35.01 and 76% and then I got the $5 extra buck back for buying two of the Garnier and five for buying or one yeah buying one of the Colgate so a total of $10 came back to me in extra bucks making my final cost right now a dollar and six cents for all of this but like I said I'm gonna contact customer service and they should give me that $4 digital manufacturing coupon in the form of extra bucks so um i'm not really worried about that because i feel like it should work with no issue i have to wait the two days before i can contact them because that's just their thing but once i do contact them and they do issue me my four dollar because i am pretty positive that they will because it should have came off it's gonna make all this free and a two dollar and 94 cent money maker <laughs> So before I go over the receipt, I want to share that I at first I grabbed the wrong um, Sally Hansen item. It has to be this one right here. It's a smaller one and there's no like rose items in it. It's just plain because the other ones I got were $6.49 and these are the ones that are $3.99. So just keep that in mind. I got the wrong ones earlier. This is the correct one. Here's my receipt. We have the Garnier for Teeth, the Trust Me, the Bioteen, the Sally Hansen, the NYX, the CoverGirl, and the Neutrogena. All my coupons went through. I didn't have any issues. I rolled over $21 in extra bucks, and my subtotal was $5.77. I did something wrong on my math because I thought my subtotal was just going to be a dollar in like 78 cents. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. Um, I'm assuming I did something wrong because it looks like all my coupons came off. It doesn't look like anything didn't come off. So I'm not sure what I did. Um, but then I had a total savings of $101 with 76 cents and 95%. And then I got the $2 extra buck for buying two of the Tresemme, six for buying two of the Neutrogena, another six for buying two of the CoverGirl, seven for buying three of the Sally Hansen, and six for buying two of the NYX. So a total of $27 and extra bucks came back to me. But then also on the coupons.com app, I'll get $4 back for the other uh, CoverGirl item that I got, and then on my bought it, I'll get a total of $6 back, $1.50 for each of the Biotin, and $1.50.75 for each of the Neutrogena. So in total, I'm getting $38.50 back to me, and I spent uh, a total of $26.77, making my final cost for all of this completely free, and an $11.70 money maker. Next, I'm going to be doing the either spend 30 on select items, get a $10 extra buck, or spend 45 get a $15 extra buck. And again, with these kind of deals, you have to do either or. You can't spend 30 right now and then go back and spend 15 and get the other 5 
if you spend 30 now, you're only going to get the 10 and that's it. If you spend 45, you're going to get the 15. Um, also, these do not follow the 98% rule. You, If you're going to spend 30, get 10, you have to either be at $30 or more. And same with the 45, you either have to be at 45 or more. If you're at $44.99, you're only going to get the $10 extra buck back. So be super careful when you're doing this deal. Make sure you have everything correct and just triple check, check your math so you nothing goes wrong. Uh, but the first items I'm going to pick up are four of these Purcell bottles. They are, they're tagged at $6.49, but I do have a rain check for... For, to have them for $4.99 and then I get a $5 extra buck back um, so I'm going to price mine at $4.99 that four of them are going to be $19.97 I believe I'm going to use three of these $2 off coupons plus one digital version so those are going to be the first four items that we are going and to and then the next two items I'm going to get to pair in with my Persil are two of these Tide liquids at $12.99 I'm going to use two of these $3 off of one manufacturing coupons if you don't have these there's one digital version and then there is also one on the PNG Good Every Day if you haven't used that yet for this month you can print one there and then use the digital one or if you have one if you only have one insert you can use one and then the digital so my total for all six of these items the four Priscilla and the two tide liquids is gonna be $45.94 so I do meet that 95% or I do meet that $45 um, spend amount so I'll get the $15 extra buck back but I also have this $9 off of 40 next purchase CRT that I'm going to apply to this. So with all my manufacturing coupons in that CRT, I should be left paying just $22.94 at the register. But then I'll get $15 back for spending $45 plus the $5 extra buck for the Brazil because it was, they didn't write it correctly, but it was supposed to be spend 15 get five but either way i should get five so i should get a total of 20 dollars in extra bucks back making my final cost for all six items just two dollars with 94 cents okay so on a different account i'm doing the nyx cosmetics deal again it's buy two get a six dollar extra buck i'm gonna pick up two of the lip liners at four dollars and 19 cents each so that is gonna equal me eight dollars with 38 cents on this account i have a two dollar off of eight nyx makeup crt plus the instant coupon for three dollars that everyone should have got this week so i have a total of five dollars coming off my eight dollar dollar total i'll pay three thirty eight but i'll get the six dollar extra buck back making both of these free and we shall say a two dollar and sixty cent money maker So here is my receipt for the Tide Priscilla and the NYX. Um, the Priscilla, one of them, when she was price modifying, she did put it for 49 cents and she was gonna keep it that way. And I was gonna let her, cause she was like, whatever, it is what it is. But then I remembered for the 45, I have to be at 45. So I asked her to change it back cause of that. And she did no issues. So I could've got it for cheaper, but I needed my extra bucks back. Uh, so here is everything. All my coupons went through. I didn't have any issues. I rolled over a total of $26 in extra bucks and my sub total was just 32 cents. I had a total savings of $84 with 20 cents and 100%. And then I got these six for buying two of the NYX and then 15 for spending 45 on select items. So that is a total of $21 that came back to me, but she also did print me that $5 extra buck for the Priscilla rain check that I had. So in total, that is $26 in extra bucks that came back to me. And I spent out a total of $26.32, making all this just $0.32. Cents. Next, it was going to be on the Tree Free Green 2 toilet paper. It's the little four pack. It is $3.49. It is buy one get one free. I have the second one in my cart already. So my total for two of them is gonna be $3.49. Check your account, see if you have this $2 off of three true green toilet tissue paper. That is for these. So that's gonna take off $2 from your $3 total. You'll pay just $1.49 for both of those rolls or both of those packs, making it like 75 cents per pack, which I feel like is a good deal. And yeah. 
so we're taking them okay so the next deal i'm gonna do i'm super excited about my mom has been asking me for this specific hair dye with this specific hair color because i bought it once and she finally used it and she really liked it and she wanted more but these hair dyes are $12 and I said I'm not paying $12 for some hair dye. I don't have any coupons or anything. But CVS has blessed me with amazing coupons. So the deal is on the L'Oreal hair color. They are buy two, get a $5 extra buck. I'm going to pick up two of these Ferrera ones in this color at $11.99. That is going to equal me $23 with 98 cents. I'm going to use this 5 off a 2 manufacturing coupon. This one is expired. And there is some on coupons.com. I just didn't print any from coupons.com. So I'm going to use that one. And then I have two of these $4 off of one L'Oreal Paris Fiera hair dyes or hair color CRTs. Plus a $2 off of one. And then we also have this 5 off a 2 digital manufacturing coupon. That I'm hoping will glitch and come off with the paper one. If it does, that will give me a total of 18 twenty dollars coming off my twenty three dollar ninety eight cent total so i'll pay three ninety eight at the register but i'll get the five dollar extra buck back for buying two making two of these completely free and a dollar two cent money maker next i'm gonna do the spend 15 on select shake or skin to make disposables get a five dollar extra buck and those select ones are on sale for 5.99 so i'm gonna pick up three of these at 5.99 that's gonna equal me 17.97 i'm gonna use three of these four dollar off of one manufacturing coupons from last week's smart stores that is going to lead me to paying just five dollars with 97 cents at the register but i'll get the five dollar extra buck back making all three of them just 97 cents. the next day is going to be on the chic non-disposable razor select ones uh, i'm going to pick up this skin to mint refill at 10.79 and then i'm going to pick up this chic hydro silk five razor at 11.99 for these i'm going to use two four dollars for one manufacturing coupons from last week's smart source my total for both of these is 22.78 after the coupons i'll pay 18.79 but i'll get the 10 dollar extra buck back making i don't think i mentioned i th pretty sure these are buy two get a 10 dollar extra buck or spend 20 get a 10 dollar extra buck they're not tagged in this store but i know they're on an extra buck promotion where they're gonna get 10 back um i'll put a picture of like the insert up on the screen but, but i'm gonna get 10 dollars back <laughs> It's gonna make the final cost eight seventy nine or four dollars and like some change each, which is pretty expensive. But I have a CRT that I will be I'm using. This chic deal with the disposable chic deal, all five combined is gonna equal me forty dollars with seventy eight cents, I believe I said or i got it down anyways and then all my manufacturing coupons and then i have the six off of 30 shave crt that i'm gonna use that is gonna leave me to paying just 14 dollars and 78 75 cents at the register but i'll get 10 for buying two of these and then i'll get five for buying these three making the final cost for all five of these completely free and a 25 cent money maker so nothing crazy and i wasn't gonna do this deal but I have a lot of, I have a few extra bucks that are expiring today, so that's what made me do this deal. Alright, so here is my last transaction for the day, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I have all the chic, the true green toilet paper, and then the L'Oreal hair colors. So all my manufacturing coupons went through. The L'Oreal 5 of a 2 digital glitched and came off, so that's super awesome. I rolled over $20 in extra bucks and my subscription was 22 cents. I had a total savings of $84 with 39 cents and 100%. And then I got the 5 for buying, spending 15 on the Chic disposables, 10 for buying two of the Chic regular ones and then five for buying two of the l'oreal making that a total of twenty dollars in extra bucks coming back to me and i spent out a total of twenty dollars with 22 cents but i got twenty dollars back making my final cost for all this just 22 cents all right guys so is everything that i picked up at cvs today my total for all this before any extra bucks would have been 74 dollars with 37 cents i got a total of 78 dollars in extra bucks back i got a total of eight dollars back from the coupons.com app 
And then on Ibotta, I got a total of $7.60 back. Me a total savings of $93 with 60 cents, making my final cost for everything you see right here to completely free and a $19.23 money maker haul. So super awesome haul. Um, I did want to mention for the Green Labs, I ended up just submitting my receipt to the coupons.com app for the $4 rebate back on there. Um, I thought about it and I felt like that was going to be easier. So we'll see if I have an issue with coupons.com. I might just call customer service, but I don't think I'll have an issue. But um, I think that was the only change that I had. I think everything else was um, as planned. The Garnier actually did switch out. Um, I ended up using a $3 coupon from the same insert. I got the $4 one for the whole blends. Um, and then we had a separate $3 digital. Uh, just so that four dollar off of eighteen could come off completely, and I didn't need to like have it overwrite it or whatever, because uh, originally I was gonna do that transaction at self checkout, but things happen, and I end up going to a, a regular cashier, so I didn't have to switch it out. But it is what it is. The those were the only two things. Um, but yeah, guys, this is it for me. This is my whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to help you out with your couponing and putting your deals together, and anything else you guys might have questions with. But of course, if you guys have any more questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out in any way that I can and like always thank you all so 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 much for clicking on this video and watching what I do I really do appreciate it and you guys it truly does mean a lot to me and I truly do feel beyond a blessed for all of it and until next time have a good day bye